For this example, we have decided to use the Pepperell & Fuchs R103 series triangular sensor with background suppression. The connection of the sensor will be made on port 1. Having successfully configured the mapping option for our IO-Link Master, we are now ready to configure the ports on the module. As described in the user manual, parameters 53 through 59 are responsible for the IO-Link Master port configuration. However, the ports are configured as a discrete input configuration by default. Each port that is desired to be configured for IO-Link must be configured with a value of 4. At this point, we are ready to download our project to the PLC. As we put our project into run mode, we want to navigate to the controller tags. In the controller tags, we want to open up the configuration array of the IO-Link master. As noted earlier, all the ports have been set up for discrete input, noted by a 1 for each port. In order to enable the port to be configured for IO-Link, we need to make the setting 4 in the corresponding tag. In our example, we will only be configuring port number 1 for IO-Link. We must now cycle power to our IO-Link master. Once fully powered up, the changes take effect. 